The ceasefires in Syria have been pretty much holding since 2019, yet the status quo is very fragile. What we're seeing is constant Russian airstrikes on northwestern Syria, on Idlib, and constant Turkish attacks on northeastern Syria. These strikes have a lot of potential to escalate and create a new cycle of violence in both, in both areas of Syria today. We're keeping a very close eye on both areas. Mm -hmm. If you look at Raqqa, the former capital, de facto capital of the Islamic State of Iraq in Syria, an area that is now contested between three forces, between the Syrian regime in the south, the Syrian Democratic Forces or the Kurdish-backed for forces that holds the predomin predominantly the majority of the province, and up north you have Turkish-backed forces. It's a, it's a microcosm of the broader conflict in which the stability of the governor hinges predominantly on international and regional backing that is unsustainable and very fragile. So any changes or alterations in the balance of power could lead to a new cycle of violence, and it could raise grievances that could easily be exploited by remaining ISIS elements in Syria. Mm -hmm.